in this question we need to find the foster one network of this impedance function but in the question they didn't mention whether it is an rl rc or lc circuit so how to find it for finding it you need to draw the pole zero plot pole means equate denominator equal to zero you will get poles so when we equate denominator equal to zero we will get either s plus 3 equal to 0 or we will get s plus 5 equal to 0. From this we will get s equal to minus 3 and from this we will get s equal to minus 5. So my poles are at minus 3 and minus 5. So 1, 2, 3 I have a pole then at 5 I have a pole. Then for getting zeros I need to equate numerator equal to 0. So when I equate numerator equal to 0 I will get s plus 1 equal to 0 or s plus 4 equal to 0. From this I will get s equal to minus 1 then from here I will get s equal to minus 4. So my zeros are at minus 1 and minus 4. If my poles, are, poles and zeros are lying on the negative real axis, it can be either RL or RC. If zero is at the beginning, then it is a RC circuit. If pole is at the beginning, then it will be a RL circuit. In this case, zero is at the beginning. So it is a RC circuit. Now, after finding the network, you need to do partial fraction. But before doing partial fraction, you need to know the degree of numerator and degree of denominator. So how to find the degree of numerator and denominator? Open the brackets and multiply. S into S, it will be S square. S into 4, it will be 4S plus 1 into s it will be s plus 1 into 4 it will be 4 divided by s into s it will be s square plus s into 5 it will be 5s plus 3 into s it will be 3s plus 3 into 5 it will be 15 and here there is a 5 outside so put that 5 now uh, to the simplification 4s plus s it will be 5s so s square plus 5s plus 4 multiplied by 5 then divided by s square plus 5 plus 3 it is 8 s square plus 8s plus 15 so now degree of numerator means the highest power of s. Here the highest power of s it is 2. So degree of numerator it is 2. Then degree of denominator, highest power of s. Here the highest power of s it is 2. So degree of denominator it is 2. But for doing partial fraction, degree of numerator should be less than degree of denominator. But in this case, degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator. So we can't do directly partial fraction. First of all, we need to do long division, then partial fraction. So for doing long division, uh, multiply this 5 out in say, first of all, do that. Now for doing long division, take the numerator. Numerator it is 5s square plus 25s plus 20. It should be divided by the denominator. Denominator it is s square plus 8s plus 15. Okay, now for doing long division, take the first element from this term. So here the first element is 5s square. That should be divided by first element of this term. Here the first element is s square. So s square and s square will cancel, we will get 5. So here the number is going to be 5. Now multiply this with 5. So s square into 5, it will be 5s square plus 8 into 5 it will be 40 so 8s into 5 it will be 40s plus 15 into 5 it will be 75 now do the subtraction 5 square minus 5 square it will be 0 25 minus 40 it is going to be minus 15 minus 15s then 20 minus 75 it will be minus 55 so this is the answer that we are getting now our new impedance will be equal to right like this okay 5 then plus this is the quotient so remainder that is minus 50 minus 55 so minus 15s minus 55 divided by this term that is s square plus 8s plus 15 so this is our new set of s okay after doing long division we will get our new set of s like this so this is our new set of s now we can see that degree of numerator it is 1 degree of denominator it is 2 so degree of numerator now it is less than degree of denominator now we can do partial fraction so the denominator it is like this so we need to make like this okay that means we open this bracket and we got like this. We need to write like this, okay? Now do partial fraction. For doing partial fraction, for this term we are doing partial fraction. This is a constant. Leave it. For this term we are doing partial fraction. So denominators are s plus 3 and s plus 5. This is product form. So we are making it in an addition form. Here the numerator it will be a and here the numerator it will be b. So this is the partial fraction term. Now for finding a, you are going to find a. Finding a, take the denominator of a, that is s plus 3. It should be multiplied by our function that is minus 15 s minus 55 divided by s plus 3 into s plus 5 so here s plus 3 and s plus 3 will get cancelled and we need to do this at s equal to s plus put s plus 3 equal to 0 you will get s equal to minus 3 so at s equal to minus 3 so for in place of s you need to put minus 3 so minus 15 minus 15 into minus 3 minus 55 divided by instead of s put minus 3 minus 3 plus 5 so we will get minus 15 into minus 3 minus 45 minus 55 no it is plus 45 minus 55 divided by minus 3 plus 5 it is 2 so my 45 minus 55 it will be minus 10 divided by 2 it is going to be minus 5 so a value it is minus 5 now for finding b value take the denominator of b b it is s plus 5 that should be multiplied by our function our function it is minus 
15 as minus 55 divided by s plus 3 into s plus 5. At put s plus 5 equal to 0, we will get s equal to minus 5. So here s plus 5 and s plus 5 will get cancelled. So wherever there is s, replace it with minus 5. So we will get minus 15 into minus 5 minus 55 divided by s instead of s put minus 5 plus 3. So minus 15 into 5 it is 75 minus 55 divided by minus 5 plus 3 it is minus 2. So it is 20 by minus 2 it will be minus 10. So we got the b value it is minus 10. So instead of a we can write minus 5 instead of b we can write minus 10. So our set of s will be equal to 5 minus 5 divided by s plus 3 then again minus minus 10 divided by s plus 5 instead of this term we found this term so replace this term with this thing now we can see that here there is a negative sign so if there is a negative sign we can't proceed with this and our network is not rc network if this is not an rc network if you are getting a negative sign here then our impedance function we need to add a s in both side both side denominator we need to add a term s now when we draw the pole zero plot you will get a pole at origin then you will get a pole at minus 3 like that and 0 like so you will get a pole at the beginning if you are getting a pole at the beginning then it will be a RL circuit on negative rate axis if you are getting pole and zeros it will be either RL or RC if you are getting pole at the beginning it will be RL if you are getting 0 at the beginning it is RC so now you are getting a pole at the beginning so it is an RL circuit now do the partial fraction for doing partial fraction you need to check degree of numerator and denominator here you can see S into S degree of numerator it will be 2 degree of denominator s into s it will be s square s square into s it will be s cube so degree of denominator it is 3 so degree of numerator it is less than degree of denominator so we can directly do partial fraction so for doing partial fraction instead of this term we are going to write it as first of all we need to split the denominators the denominator is s then s plus 3 and s plus 5 okay and these are in product form we will make it in addition form now the numerator here we will write a b and c we need to find the value of a b and c for finding the value of a Take the denominator of a. For getting a, take the denominator of a. Denominator of a it is s. It should be multiplied by this function. A function it is 5 into s plus 1 into s plus 4 divided by s into s plus 3 into s plus 5. At s. So at s equal to 0. Now this s and this s will get cancelled. Wherever there is s, you need to put zeros. So we will get 5 into 0 plus 1. It is 1 multiplied by 0 plus 4, it will be 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 5. So 5 into 4 it will be 20, 5 into 3 it will be 15, that is 4 by 3. So we got the a value it is 4 by 3. So instead of a we can write it as 4 by 3. Now for finding b value, for getting b, take the denominator of b, it is s plus 3, s plus 3. It should be multiplied by our function. So function it is 5 multiplied by s plus 1, s plus, s plus 4 divided by s into s plus 3, s plus 3 into s plus 5. Okay at put s plus 3 equal to 0 we will get s equal to minus 3 we need to find the value of b now s plus 3 and s plus 3 common we cancel it now wherever there is s replace it with minus 3 so 5 5 into instead of s write minus 3 minus 3 plus 1 it will be minus 2 then minus 3 plus 4 it will be plus 1 divided by instead of s minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 plus 5 it will be plus 2 so minus 3 multiplied by 2 okay 5 minus 2 it will be minus 10 minus 3 into 2 it will be minus 6 so it will be 5 by 3 so the answer will be 5 by 3 instead of b we can write 5 by 3 now for finding c value take the denominator of c it is s plus 5 so s plus 5 that should be multiplied by our question at s equal to s plus 5 equal to 0 then we will get s equal to minus 5 so this s plus 5 and s plus 5 will get cancelled we will get 5 multiplied by instead of s write minus 5 so minus 5 plus 1 it will be minus 4 then minus 5 plus 4 it will be minus 1 divided by instead of s minus 5 minus 5 multiplied by minus 5 plus 3 it will be minus 2 so you will get 5 into minus 1 into minus 1 it will be plus 4 so 5 into 4 it will be 20 divided by minus into minus it will become plus 5 into 2 it will become 10 so it will be 2 instead of c we can write it as 2 now we got the a value b value and c value so set of s by s equal to this term now after completing doing partial fraction we need it in the form of set of s we have it in the form of set of s by s but we need it in set of s form because actually the question was in set of s we got partial fraction negative values due to that we put this s now we need to take out that s for that multiply throughout by s then s and s will get cancelled we will get set of s here also s and s will get cancelled we will get 4 by 3 plus here we will get 5 by 3 s divided by s plus 3 plus 2s 
divided by s plus 5. We need to multiply throughout by s in order to cancel this s. By that we got this equation. So this is the final equation. And we found that this is an RL network. In Foster form 1, we will draw the network in series. We will draw the impedance network in series. So this will be the Foster form 1 network. Now, from this equation, you need to draw the network. In Foster form 1, this is the standard form. If there is only a value, it will be a resistor. We are dealing with RL circuit, okay? If there is only a value, it is a resistor. And the value of resistor is A. Now, if S is in the numerator, it will be an inductor. And the value of inductor will be the position near S, that is A. Now, if the equation of the function is like this, then it will be a combination of resistor and inductor. In Foster form 1, if there is a combination, we will connect it in parallel, okay? That is in Foster form 1. Now, for finding the value of resistor, the value of resistor, it is the coefficient near S, that is A. Now, for finding the value of inductor, the value will be A by B. So, this is the method to find the values in Foster form 1. In Foster form 2, it will be the inverse. If there is a constant time A, then the value of resistor will be 1 by A. Now, if S is in the denominator, then it will be an inductor. If S is in the numerator, it will be a capacitor. If S is in the denominator, then it will be inductor. And the value of inductor will be 1 by A. If there is a combination of inductor and resistor, then in Foster form 2, we will connect it in series. Now, for finding the value of resistor, as we know, for finding the value of resistor, it will be 1 by A. 1 by A. Now, for getting the value of inductor, it will be not A by B. It will be B by A. If there is only a constant time, the value of resistor is inverse of that. If S is in the denominator, then it is an inductor. And for getting the value of inductor, you need to take the inverse of uh, A. Now, if there is a combination of resistor and inductor, then the value of resistor is inverse of A. The value of inductor is not A by B, it is B by A. Now, in this question, we need first of all 1. So, first of all, the first term, it is only a constant. That means it is a resistor. And the value of resistor is 4 by 3. Now, here it is a combination. So, the third form. Combination means there will be a combination of inductor and there will be a combination of resistor. Now, for getting the value of resistor, for getting the value of resistor, it is the coefficient near S. Here, the coefficient near S it is 5 by 3. So, 5 by 3. Now, for getting the value of inductor, it will be A by B. A it is 5 by 3. B it is 3. So, 5 by 3 divided by 3. That is 5 by 3 multiplied by 3. You will get 5 by 9. So, the value of inductor is 5 by 9. Now, again, there is a combination, the equation of combination. So, there will be a combination of inductor and a resistor. Now we need to find the value of resistor. How to find the value of resistor? The coefficient here S is the value of resistor. The coefficient here value S it is 2. Now for finding the value of inductor it is A by B. That is 2 by 5. 2 by 5. Now we need to connect all this in series and this will be our impedance function. You need to put the unit that is very important. Resistor it is Ohm and for inductor it is Henry. So this will be our Foster form one network of this impedance function.